Christian Fietze knows the way to the tennis courts. He's been coming here since his childhood. He's always been an enthusiastic tennis player. But right now, he's doing his job. He's shooting a film about the tennis club. Hello, my name is Christian Fietze. Hello, my name is Christian Fietze. I'm a freelance filmmaker. I was born in Görlitz, eventually left it for a while, and I've now been back in my hometown for a good year. And today I'm going to take you on a walk through Görlitz. Christian shows us that Görlitz also has its quirky side. Like this building. In the middle of a row of restored buildings on Obermarkt, the upper market square, what's called the Bone House immediately stands out. <laughs> Stephen Bonig, better known as Bone, is lord of the manor here. He invites us to have coffee. It's like entering another world when you come here. Both physically, because you see so many things that you've never seen before, but also intellectually. You always find people to talk to. You can philosophize and discuss, and that's what I think is especially great here. It's an artistic and inspiring place. When you enter into timeless space like this, you just relax. It's also what people like about ruins. Visitors are welcome here in this house, which really does seem to have fallen out of time. Just stop by. If the man of the house is home, you can stop in. We go on to Christian Fietz's second recommendation. It's an industrial monument in which beer is still produced today. I'm now on the grounds of the Lanzkorn Brewery. This is a great spot here in Görlitz. Music events are held here quite often, and you can also see how beer is made. The fermentation cellar is 12 meters down. It's one stop on the tour with brewery guide Walter Michel. Here, the beer is left to ferment much longer than is usual elsewhere. And by the time this phase of fermentation has taken place, eight days have passed. That's about how long it takes to ferment two-thirds of the extract. No visit to a brewery would be complete without a taste test. The last recommendation takes us to the Görlitz city limits. Christian comes here as often as he can. Lake Bertsdorf is a former open pit lignite mine which has been flooded to form an artificial lake. Lake Bertsdorf is my favorite place to unwind. I like to come here to swim, barbecue and relax. And I'm standing where a village once stood. It was called Deutsch Ossich and now all that's left are ruins. In the late 1980s, Deutsch Ossig had to make way for open cast mining. The deserted and dilapidated buildings are a reminder of its fate. History and relaxation, you'll find both at Lake Bertsdorf.